metal detecting in Alaska. Out for an early Sunday hunt right after Christmas and I'm out with my son-in-law Justin. He's never been metal detecting and we're out doing it for the first time at 13 below. So let's get in here and see what we can find. I just had our first target. A dime. And it was at least six or eight inches down. So we're gonna keep looking. It's pretty cold out here. Look at that light steaming up there. It's like you're smoking. Oh, I got a screamer of a target there, 81. Oh, it's a buckle. Probably off somebody's snowsuit. All right, let's keep looking. Looks like he might have found a target over there. Well, got another target here. It was reading 81. What the hell? Another buckle. Look at that. Another one. That's a buckle kind of day, I guess. And that was deep, too. All right, let's keep looking. All right, so Justin just had a target, and he found a spoon. Cool. You know, I found three silver spoons this summer. It's probably stainless, but I'm just saying. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. A spoon. Frozen spoon. Well, I spoon. dug a big deep hole there, about almost a foot down to find a Duracell battery. Well, I'm starting to wonder if somebody's coming around and hitting these playgrounds before me. Because so far I've hit that playground and this playground and all I found is one dime and a bunch of wads of aluminum foil, uh, two buckles, and Justin found a uh, spoon. All right, so we're probably gonna take off here pretty soon. Pretty cold, full moon. Walking over to this totem pole, get a close shot of it with the full moon behind it. Looks pretty cool. It's pretty big, it's uh, at least three of me tall. All right, well, we're taking off. It was a good hunt for 13 below. Hey, we found a spoon, something useful, and a dime. So, uh, we're gonna go get in a warm car.